Welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see by the title of this video, your girl has been experiencing postpartum shedding. First of all, excuse how I look. I was in the process of recording another video, and this is my hair prep for a twist out, and I'm not trying to cover it because I need it to dry by late this afternoon. So, <clears throat> I think I've been in complete denial about this whole postpartum shedding thing. I've been getting shedding more than usual however I kind of just been ignoring it and just saying okay I don't wash my hair every week like I used to because now I now that I work from home I don't really care how my hair looks during the week like I usually just have on a bonnet or a scarf on my head unless I'm trying to record a video or if I am going out which is very rare so I'm like, okay, I'm not washing my hair every week, so of course I'm gonna have more shedding because, you know, naturally, I think we shed, our hair shed about 50 strands a day, so if you build that up, you know, yeah, you're gonna have a bit of shedding. This is just me being in denial. However, I can't be in denial any longer, and I'm pretty sure people have seen it in my previous videos that my edges look a little thinner than usual because I naturally have thin hair. <laughs> So that's just how it's been all my life, thin or sparse, whatever word you want to use. <clears throat> but this is ridiculous. Like it's starting to grow back, but especially like right here, my close to my temple area, it's it just just left me it, it went it's on vacation somewhere and is not trying to come back to work <laughs> so right now I'm making this video because I kind of want to track my progress and see if what I'm about to be doing actually works so this is how my edges look right now you dropped it right here Ugh. I'm gonna start using this Haitian black castor oil. I got this from my local Whole Foods. And I've actually never used Haitian black castor oil. I've only used Jamaican black castor oil, but I've been out of that for a long time now and I have not repurchased yet. But um, I'm gonna try this out. It's actually pretty expensive like $16 for this 3.4 ounce bottle however a little goes a long way so I know it's gonna last me a long time plus I'm gonna be the only one using it and it's mainly gonna be focusing just to use on my edges so I'm gonna use this it says the direction says to apply directly to the, apply directly to the scalp and I'm well if you're trying to grow your eyebrows and eyebrows three to four times a week and massage well, apply oil to entire hair two to three times a week, and seal in moisture. So, I'm gonna be using this three to four times a week. I'm gonna make it part of my nightly routine. And I'm also going to be, since I don't wash my hair like weekly anymore, I'm gonna try and make sure that I at least make sure no product buildup come um, my edges has no product buildup so at night in the shower I'm just gonna um, push my shower cap back and make sure my edges are always clean and I'm in this bottle I have rice water 
If you guys don't know the benefit of rice water, I advise that you go and do your research. But I do have a previous video talking about it a, a little bit in my DIY African Black Soap Rice Water Shampoo. So I have rice water in this bottle and I'm keeping this in my shower as well. So as I make sure my edges are clean and product free, I'm going to spray a little bit of this on my edges three to four times a week, rinse it off, and when I get out the shower, follow it up with this. So I'm going to do that and see where my edges are in about a month, three to four weeks or so. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the next three to four weeks and see if it helps my edges grow back faster because they are growing back it's just taking its time and it's so sad like I even have some like in the middle of my hair I noticed that I have some really shorter strands so you can tell that I've been having some shedding up here and it's been growing back which were the sharp which is where the short strands come in so it's like shorter than the rest of my hair being that my hair is pulling back out so yeah hopefully this works because it's one thing to have naturally thin hair but then to be even thinner due to postpartum shedding is kind of depressing if you ask me <laughs> so to the new mamas out there old new mamas did you experience postpartum shedding and if so what did you do to combat it or maybe help your hair grow back faster or minimize the shedding or whatever comment below leave your girls some tips um, they're welcomed so yeah today is actually today is March 3rd so I'm gonna put that in my calendar that I started I actually started this last night so I can say I started like March 2nd so are you hungry are you hungry? <laughs> so I'm gonna um, be consistent using it three to four times a week and see if it helps my edges fold back out. And hopefully it does because this is ridiculous. Like I've seen worse, but this is not what I'm used to at all. Anyways, that is all for this video. Um, I'm going to keep you guys posted on my progress and we'll see if this works. If you haven't already, again, like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Right, baby? Josiah? And you guys will see me in my next video. Say bye bye. Look at the camera. Look. Yeah. <laughs> so subscribe to mommy channel. You stir in this bottle. You can't have the bottle because you're just gonna poison your mouth. Here. He does not like this toy, and I don't know why. <laughs> You deserve it all. Oh, this is perfect, and it's the magic and everything you do. Isn't that nerd? Perfect, it's